Uh, here is a woman whose name uh, really should not get any attention, but she did say something that was so egregious, so stupid, so bigoted, um, and so exactly her job as a black conservative on Fox News uh, that we had to play it. Here's Star Parker. Think about Nancy Pelosi, who made this statement yesterday. It shouldn't take the President of the United States two days to summon the basic decency to condemn murder and violence by Nazis and white supremacists. That is not what happened. Nancy Pelosi is exploiting an opportunity that they think uh, will play to their side. On Saturday, there were two sides that were in an American city that were then it was escalating very rapidly. No, the question became then, well, do you denounce the one part of it? But you know what's really interesting and a really <laughs> incredible irony here is the same people that are demanding that the Confederate flag comes down are the same people that are insisting that the rainbow flag goes up. These two flags represent the exact same thing, that certain people groups are not welcome here. So if Nancy Pelosi wants to say that we're going to start shutting down First Amendment rights of a certain group of people, then what happens the next time that the homosexuals want to walk through an American city and protest and counter protesters come out? All right. Star Parker joining us today from Washington, D.C. I think the value of that clip <laughs> is that in a world, bless you, bless you, I think the value of that clip actually is in some ways with a world with Alex Jones, with a world of Nazis and, you know, people and, and, and Tucker Carlson playing footsie with these people and, you know, the Internet and, you know, the soft alt-right Dave Rubin thing and all of that garbage. It's very important to remember just how totally obscene and grotesque normal day in and day out Fox News programming is. Like Fox News is almost, you know, with the exception, I guess, of Hannity as the kind of main propaganda piece and Tucker Carlson playing his game with bigots, that clip is just a normal, like, hey, she's with the moron crew in the morning. She's comparing, I mean, first of all, a couple of things. She doesn't understand, as fucking Mitt Romney does, the different moral universes of those promoting Nazism, bigotry, and racism, and those fighting it. There was one person killed, there were over 30 injured, and they were the good ones. None of the bad people died in Charlottesville. I don't want anybody to die, but let's be very clear about that. There was no equal exchange here. A young woman who was a hero and an advocate of everything that's right was murdered by a fucking Nazi. And then she has the temerity to compare, I guess, well, like a group rights group of people who uh, go out with a rainbow flag to say, hey, um, can you give me equal civil rights, not murder and beat me because of who I am, stands on the same ground as people who want to preserve monuments of slaveholders and mass killers who committed terrorism to undermine the founding of the modern version of this country. And that's just a normal Fox News hit. It's a, it is, even after the death of Roger Ailes, the ouster of Bill O'Reilly, Fox News remains utterly rotten to the core, and its core brand proposition is day in and day out casual racism and fear mongering. So, good job to both of them. They did exactly what they're supposed to do. I wonder if Peter Thiel would like the idea of a gay confederacy, though. That sounds amazing. Isn't it so weird that, like, this black chick gave us the most amazing idea ever? <laughs> Maybe we can invite her for, like, the inaugural ball and then thunder on her way the next morning. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube abs have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.